The Lansing Lugnuts against the West Michigan Whitecaps. I believe the, in the MLS, the Vancouver Whitecaps also exist. This, uh, this game was on August 15th of 2013, and the pitcher nearly got his head taken off. We have video. Go. Oh! Yeah. See, now when he's on the ground, my thing is, um, at least my opinion was, and we can show it one more time, the batter thought he took his head off. Yeah, the batter's devastated. Yeah, the batter was totally but he, he devastated. caught the ball. Or was he just shocked that he caught the ball? Yeah. I think the batter was upset that he almost hurt the pitcher. Can we see it one more time, Frisch? The, uh... Oh. No, maybe he's upset. No, no, he's, I think he's, uh, uh who knows? <sighs> Uh, man, that is a heck of a catch. By the way, I was right. They're, uh, they're in the Midwest League. The Midwest League. They're a Blue Jays affiliate. So we've seen Brandon McCarthy take one off the noggin, and the stitches were, oof, that was an ugly scene. Yeah, I've seen, we've seen guys catch balls uh, back there. It's Ooh. terrifying every time. I don't know off the top of my head, but I've seen it, seen it this year. Uh, Ryan Cook of the A's caught one this year. It's tough, man, you know, and it's so close, and it doesn't need to be hit that hard to do tremendous damage to the head. I don't know if we're getting to the place where we're going to, I was just going to ask. Have, uh, have, uh, pitchers wear, uh, have pitchers wear helmets. Wouldn't that impact the way they pitch, though, no matter how tight you put a, a soft core helmet on there or anything, no, on their I'm, heads? I'm guessing that's where sort of American ingenuity and sophisticated engineering would come up with something that works. What was the name of the Mariners' first baseman? John Olderud. John Olderud, thank you. Are we going to have a John Olderud movement with Yeah, pitchers? well, John Olderud had uh, aneurysms when he was a kid, so... Uh, uh, that's why, uh, you know, the, he was just protecting right, himself. Right, right. I'm just saying. You know the great John Oldwood story that turns out not to be true, but it's the best story in maybe in Tell baseball me. history. Very quickly, Ricky Henderson played oh, with John Oldwood. Who's he? Ricky Henderson played with John Oldwood with the Mets and then with the Blue Jays. And I don't remember which order. Maybe it was the other way around. But he played with Oldwood in Toronto and in with the Mets. And the second team he was with, let's say it was the Mets the second time around, first the Blue Jays. He's out there in spring training before a game. And he's standing with Olerud. They're out in the outfield shagging flies or something. And he goes, hey, you wear that helmet all the time? And Olerud goes, yeah. He goes, I used to play with a guy who wore that helmet all the time. <laughs> 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 and Olerud was like, Rick, that was, that was me. <laughs> two, year, two years in Toronto. You were the left fielder. I was the first baseman. But it turns out that story's not true. But it, oh, it's not true? It's such oh, a great, great, man, great Ricky Henderson. Because it sounds so much it's like so Ricky. It's such yeah. a Ricky Henderson story. R-A-C-K-E-Y. Uh, name for Branch Ricky. And very quickly, lastly, and then we'll wrap up. You said that he had, you told a story about how he had a million dollar check in his house, This is right? true. Yeah, yeah, the A's so this gave is him, a true story. The A's gave him a million dollar bonus. The who? The A's gave oh, him a million dollar bonus when he signed, I think in 1990. He was the first player to make three million a year. It included a million dollar bonus. Yeah. Then he got passed within days. But the salaries just went through the roof yeah. that off season. Biggest yeah. jump of any year, I think. And so he has this million dollar check for his four year, $12 million deal with the A's. And Dave Stewart that season of the A's is at Ricky's house and they're shooting pool. And in Ricky's pool room, there is a, he's got this framed poster in the, a framed in the check. And yeah. Dave Stewart who later became a, a, an executive and a player agent says, Rick, what's, the, what's this? He's like, oh, how about that? One million dollars. Who'd have thought this kid from Chicago would ever get a million dollars to play baseball? That's the check I got when I signed my deal. <laughs> Dave Stewart's like, that's that actual check you got? This is like now July, he signed it in February. That's the actual check that you got? Yeah. yeah. Stuart's like, he <laughs> calls the A's. He's like, Ricky Anderson, uh, did he ever cash that? They're like, no. <laughs> yeah. and they're like, he's got it framed. He didn't know he had to cash it. And they wrote Ricky another check. Did yeah. So did he cash it? No, they wrote him another check. Oh, he they did. He so he kept that yeah, check. Yeah. Oh, well, good for the A's. And that was with the A's, right? Yeah. It was with the A's. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you, everybody.